my name is Amrita. I'm a New York based makeup artist, and I would describe my style as editorial, glam, and glowy. I'm Eric Basinet. I'm a New York City based makeup artist, and I would describe my work as dark, clean, and a little punk rock. My name is Tommy. I'm a New York City based makeup artist. I would describe my work as glamorous, effortless, and glowing. You have one hour to create a look inspired by the following image Scorpio. Scorpio. I am a Scorpio. I'm on the cusp of Scorpio. Five of my houses are in Scorpio, so I'm kind of like very, very Scorpio. The Scorpio in my personality comes from me being passionate, hardworking, and from bringing out the best of people. I am very passionate, stubborn, sometimes a little intense in a good and bad way. We're a little psychic, we're a little magical, we're a little dark, a little sexual. <laughs> Your looks will be photographed in an editorial photo shoot. Hi, I'm Rita. Maya, nice so to meet nice you. So nice to meet you. I'm Eric. Maya, nice to meet you. So I'm so happy to do this look on a fellow Scorpio. So first, I'm gonna moisturize her skin. First things first, I'm gonna prep your skin. The first thing I'm gonna do is prep her skin. So I'm gonna mist, um, the clock is on. I want the skin to be really kind of um, dewy looking. So the first thing I always do is I take a pre-soaked face halo and I go to town. <laughs> I go to town. <laughs> dewy skin for me is all about the prep. So I'm using the Korean seven step method. You press in toner and it plumps up the skin and evens it out. I have really beautiful skin. Thanks. I love Woleda skin food. It's extra moisturizing and rich. I'm gonna take a little bit of illuminator just to give her a nice glow before we go in with any foundation. You put some oil on your just so they're not the focus of the makeup, I'm going to lighten her brows a little bit. I think we're gonna start with a little foundation. A quick mist, applying Drunk Elephant's Retro Cream. I'm kind of blessing Maya, and I will <laughs> apply a little bit on the neck, and we'll give her a quick massage. It's all about skin, it's 80% of your canvas. I was excited, but also, I was a little nervous because I was like, how do I put my personality into a makeup look? This looks gonna be asymmetrical. I think that kind of plays on the Scorpio personality trait of being mysterious and enigmatic. I knew I wanted to incorporate eyeliner, just dark, mysterious, kind of sexy, sensual look. The actual Scorpio was definitely more of a afterthought. I'm kind of using the colors of the image, more of the abstractness of the image. Scorpios speak with their eyes. Even another Scorpio, when it walks into the room, I feel like we know each other through the intensity of our eyes. I'm kind of playing on that. Seeing that reference image and the colors on it, I wanted to do something intense, but not something that's dark or necessarily really smooth. We could go for a burgundy lip, kind of like old Hollywood. Kind of incorporate those colors into your eyes and make your hazel eyes pop and do a kind of celestial, shimmery kind of finish. So I'm going in straight with the eyeliner, so we're just putting this on. It doesn't have to be super neat. I think um, people think that we're so secretive, but we're just really observant. So I'm gonna use this flash palette from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna start blending some color. So this is gonna be a lot of like blending and going back and blending. So I did a really sheer layer of foundation and now I'm gonna go in with some concealers just where we need it. I'm gonna start getting into some color. I'm starting with a red eyeshadow. Scorpios are very passionate and sensual, so I thought red was a good color to start off this look. This silvery shimmer adds a kind of wet look to the makeup, and Scorpios are water signs, so I thought that was a fun play on it. I feel like Scorpios like drama and a little more glam. A little bit of powder. Just gonna apply a little bit of Fenty lip balm. One of Scorpio's colors is topaz, and I wanna do a kind of topaz gold dewy complexion. So I'm gonna apply that right on top of cheekbones and do a little bit over the eyes. Going to contour her face a bit just for some added intensity. Going in with a black gel liner. So I'm starting to trace out shapes on her eyes. So I kind of traced her crease, the curve of her crease, to kind of make an upper wing that I'm gonna turn into a Scorpio tail on this end. 
What I did take inspiration from was the um, constellation. So I'm gonna add some yellow and then I'm gonna put some orange on top of that. Sort of like a sunset or something in like the universe. Some highlights. I kinda want everything to be kind of like glowy. So I'm just gonna use these eyeshadows to kind of go over the colors that I put to kind of reinforce them. So Scorpio is a mysterious and this is definitely something I'm incorporating into the look. So I'm gonna reveal the shape of Maya's brows with brow gel, brush the hairs down, and then up. It gives the brows a little bit more shape and control. 30s wasn't a big brow moment, but I wanna make it more modern. Old Hollywood looks and Scorpios have so much personality that I wanna give it a little extra. I'm taking Urban Decay's Alkaline Pencil Look Up For Me. It's a kind of red burgundy Merlot, and I'm doing that because Maya's eye color has a little bit of green through it, and I wanna make that pop. I'm just gonna highlight Maya's lid. And there's a little bit more of that warm yellow. Can I have a time check? Anyone have, a, have the time? 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left, pressure's on. I'm going so fast. So I'm going in with a little bit of lash glue and I'm gonna glue on three little rhinestones just to signify the joints and I draw on a little tail. So we're gonna start working on this side where the Scorpio interpretation is going to be a little more literal. Well, I was trying to find a balance between literal and something more creative and abstract. So once again, I'm gluing on gems to kind of show the segmented body. I'm going to have these increasing in size towards the head. I'm following like the curve of the tail. Sealing her a little bit, even though it's a messy, messier look, I still want it to look cleaner in certain places. There's obviously like an or organic feel to this. It still has to be perfect in an imperfect way. It's sort of like a Scorpio. <laughs> so now I'm gonna use this um, this chroma cake. They use it for body painting. I'm gonna make these little dots on her eyes to look like stars a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. Now I'm just gonna basically blow some glitter on her face to give like sort of a starry, metallic -y look. I think that's it. So now the base of the makeup is on, so now I'm gonna smudge the eyeliner and make sure that's nice and smoky and blended. Get on some mascara. So I did the mascara a little bit more generously just because I want to create a kind of uh, scorpion legged effect, almost like spider lashes. Kind of very autumnal and a little smoky. The next thing I'm gonna do is create a kind of eye fat, so kind of like volume underneath the eyes. I'm gonna take a lighter shade, look up for me, Maya. I'm gonna start in the tear duct and then trace it underneath the lashes. And what this will do is bring the under eye forward and create a backdrop so that lashes look a little extra fluttery and a little extra long. I'm gonna do a Hollywood liner. It's not about the liner. Like, it is about the liner, but it's not about the liner. Great. So this is a time when you're like looking at the end and you're just like, oh, maybe we could do this and maybe we could do that. I was gonna do a dark lip, but I wasn't sure about it. I wanted to see, so I might just do a nude lip now. Because I really wanted it to be about the eyes. 10 minutes left. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on her lip. I wanna stick with that kind of deep red, dark colored maroon. So I wanna do a lash with this. So I'm taking a full strip and I'm gonna cut them in half and make a corner lash. And you just land it on the outer corner. There's something about lashes that kind of just, you know, finishes the look. I am going in with a red gloss just over the top. I'm going to take a bit of soap, wet it, and run it through her brows. Soap is like an extra strong brow gel. I've got five more minutes left. Just making sure Maya's brows look really natural, but groomed. Her lips, I have this really beautiful MAC color, this kind of satin shimmer. And I think we're done. Bam, eight minutes early. Good job. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm just going in with a little more red. Get a touch more mascara. 
I've got one minute left. That's good. We're great. Just gonna pop on some individual lashes in her outer corners for a little added length. The last thing I'm gonna do is take our brow pencil and create a Marie Antoinette beauty mark, a fellow Scorpio. <gasps> oh my gosh! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Brush is down! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we're ready for your photo shoot. Awesome. So let's head over. Hi, I'm Rita. I hear you're a Scorpio too. I am a Scorpio Here's too. Here's your girl. Chin down a little bit. Oh, it's nice. Great, super beautiful. Yeah, I love it when you're like a little expressive with your eyes and like kind of give me a few different things. Gorgeous, and look just past me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just gonna do a couple more. Got it already. Yeah, I think we probably have it. I feel like how the colors go with that kind of Scorpio vibe, that kind of maroon and burgundy. Too smiley. Yeah. I'm much too happy for this. <laughs> I'm like, that's not Scorpio. No. <laughs> so yeah. pretty. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was. They look great. Great to meet you. And you as These well. are awesome. Thanks so much. I can't wait to see everyone else's to see how they kind of interpreted the look. Hi. Hey, what's up, I'm Eric. I'm November, Rita. November 20th. October 28th. Tommy. I'm Rita. So nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. Eric. October 24th. Why do I feel nervous for? <laughs> I know, I feel I'm nervous I'm like, why do I feel like I'm... <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. That's oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Wow, so different. I love that. So yeah. who did what? I did the one on the left. I did the middle. I did the, the, the far uh, right. Wow. wow. Beautiful, guys. I love that. I took inspiration from Scorpio's like Veronica Lake of the 30s, so there's an old Hollywood kind of vibe. So I did a kind of watery, dewy skin and a kind of shimmering eye, shimmering cheek, and shimmering lip. Because nice. I wanted the kind of vibrancy and the personality of Scorpio to come through. I, I like your color palette. It's very fall, which is kind of Scorpio season, mm -hmm. so I think that was a really cool play on it. It's like a burgundy eyeliner, and I use, yeah, topaz, a yellow-green, kind of, that's the birthstone what? for Scorpio. What I love about topaz is that it comes in many different colors. Like Scorpios. <laughs> right, you come in all colors. Right. I, I like the skin. I like how everything's super dewy and glowy. Love that. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, it has a lot more personality than just like your normal right. everyday look. You know, she's going someplace. When I was thinking of Scorpios of the past, I thought of Marie Antoinette as being one and drew just a tiny little beauty mark. Oh, that's beautiful. Fun fact. Fun. Well, there's another fun fact. You know, um, Hello Kitty's a Scorpio? Yeah. Oh, Hello Kitty. Hello yeah. Kitty. I wanted to kind of like embody the intensity of Scorpio eyes. That's where the Scorpio universe lives in their eyes. I love how it makes the amber of her eyes really, really bright. Yeah, beautiful. it's beautiful. And I Thank love you. how you went in with those colors in the inspiration picture and like you said, added that black undertone. Yeah, I actually started yeah. with I actually started with black liner and then kind of Built built on up it. the color from there. Beautiful. And I think the washed out lip was like Perfect. I was originally thinking to do a dark lip. I was like, yeah, she doesn't need it. It's all about the eyes for this. It's a great choice. A beautiful highlight. I blew the glitter on because I want it to look like starry, but I want it also a metallic y sort of finish. So I used a really ultra fine glitter that was almost like powder. That black liner around her eye really adds that intensity that oh. Scorpios are known for. Thanks. It's a really nice touch. I really wanted to embody Scorpio personality traits. We do love a little bit of glamour, so I wanted to incorporate like the rhinestones and stuff. I wanted to do more of an asymmetric look to kind of play with those extremes that Scorpio does have. Something a little more abstract and then something a little more literal. I like how you made this, the stones into the Scorpion. Thanks. I like that autumnal color choice too in her temples to her cheeks. And I like the Scorpio M. Yeah, like a little beauty mark. Her showing one side of her face and it being different from the other side is kind of like revealing a secret. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. That's a lot of interest. Yeah. I definitely Great. did think that 
all of the looks would play up the eye in some way or the other. So it was really nice to see kind of that intensity that carries out into each look. I kind of knew they were going to look different but cohesive. You know, the Scorpios are going to have this way of kind of thinking. I kind of knew that they were, they were going to all look like they were going to the same party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great job, fellow yeah, Scorpios. Yeah, I think we really embodied Scorpio season. Definitely. <laughs> I completely agree. I think it looks amazing. Happy, Happy Scorpio, Scorpio season! season. <laughs> <laughs>